Thank you, Shlomo. It is so good to be back here in the Chabura. I can't even tell you. Uh, about four months ago, I was out riding with my daughter, Edna, and she's 14 years old. On Fridays, we usually go on a ride around the farm. And uh, usually I have like a baby horse that Eden's horse had a baby and usually just kind of follows us around and it's like a beautiful, you know, picturesque thing, two horses with the baby following us. And we, when you walk upstairs, you kind of like naturally skip upstairs. Horses do the same thing. When you're running up a mountain, the horses really just want to get it over with and they sort of gallop up the mountain. And so me and Eden's horse start running up the mountain like we always do. And the last memory that I have is... This siacha here is a little bit too close. And then I totally don't remember anything pony. else. The pony. Siacha is a baby horse. But I remember that was the last thought that crossed my head. And what happened was the baby horse got into the legs of my horse in the middle of a gallop. My horse tumbled down. I then was thrown off the horse. The horse continued to tumble, broke my leg, so I couldn't walk for two months. My head was split open because it hit a rock. And I'm lying on the floor, knocked out. And I look as though I'm not going to make it because my head is split over and I'm not responsive. My daughter is freaking out. She calls Ari. She calls Dila. Ari hears that something is going on. He couldn't really hear because the cleta on the farm isn't so good. Immediately, he cocks his gun. He's sure it's a terrorist attack. <laughs> he runs to come and see me. He sees Tehila is there. I'm lying on the floor with my head split open. He's like, oh my gosh. Tehila tells me that she's like, oh. She had to just come to grips with, okay, this is like what she said in her heart. She's like, well, he played a good hand. And she was already like, mechabelet, that I may not be alive because I definitely didn't look alive. Eventually, it took Sheshesh Tesha with a helicopter to fly me in four minutes to get me to the hospital. And I don't remember the helicopter ride. I, the only thing that I know is Ari looked over to Tahila and she was already on J date looking for her next boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that up, is up until this moment. <laughs> exactly true. That is an Ari Abramowitz original 100%. joke. I love that joke. Yeah, you're not that. <laughs> and so I, 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 you know, I don't know what happened to me when I was knocked out. I don't know. I woke up and I'm in the hospital and I didn't know how I got there at the beginning. So I really do feel like Sariti Ima Adam Ima Elohim that Hashem made it that I was Ochal. And now I'm limping, which is unbelievable because I'm just limping after such an amazing struggle. But I know in my heart of hearts, even though I don't remember, this was a big part of me coming back. I was so excited to come back to the Chabura to learn with Rav Shlomo again, to be here with you guys. I'm just so happy. And that's what this is about. There were 40 bagels. There's some more over there, but there were 40 on the table because Ari taught me that in a korban toda, there are 40 loaves of bread that you bring. And so this is as if a korban toda to Hashem because... Every day is a gift, and for a gift you need to say thank you, but sometimes we just take the gift for granted, but I don't take the gift for granted right now at least. I am so grateful to be back from Europe on my speaking tour, to be back in Eretz Israel, to not walk with Kabayim. I'm walking, I'm just hobbling a little bit. Christopher Reeves, you guys know Christopher Reeves, he wasn't galloping, he was cantering before a jump. His horse didn't tumble, his horse stopped. He fell off, not onto rocks, onto sand in a riding rink. And he cracked his neck, and then we all know the rest of the story. I should be Christopher Reeves. I should be dead. Period. There is no way I'll be Hateva. Hashem sent Malachim to just humble me and cradle me and then put me down. And I'm just walking away with a little limp. But Baruch Hashem, I'm alive. Baruch Hashem, I'm back here with Rosh Hashanah with you guys. And so this is just my way of giving thanks to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.